Hello everybody, it is Friday, and if you guys are new here, Friday is the day where we talk about stuff that sucks about being an adult. This week, and last week specifically, we're talking about roommate stories. So I have to clear up a cliffhanger from the last video, because a lot of people have been asking me the question, so if you knew that he was like this, then why did you move in with him? Well, the thing was, uh, desperation makes you do some crazy things. I mean, I thought maybe his nudeness was just a two-off thing. Oh, yeah, you heard me say two? Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't tell you guys about that part. After the whole situation where he was naked, I was screaming and running, whatever, I finally got a hold of my buddy and I told him about the situation. I'm just like, yo, this is what happened in your house. I was trapped in your room, couldn't get out. I was so scared. <laughs> I don't know what to do. A young Jay-Z. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell my buddy about it and he starts laughing. My buddy is cracking up. Like, he's just like, what? what? No way. What have I ever lied to you? I've never lied to you. I will never lie to you. You will always be mine. So obviously, I, there's no way I could explain it in a way that would, that would make sense. I mean, he figured, you know, maybe he's exaggerating a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exaggerating. Who's exaggerating now, son? You see? Mm -hmm. One day, about a week after my, my traumatizing story, or maybe it wasn't a week, I don't know, I'm just making updates. My buddy calls me up and he's just like, yo Siege, I saw it, I finally saw it. I'm just like, what, what saw what? And, and why are you so excited and happy? He wasn't excited at all. I'm just throwing this in to throw him under the bus. And he's all like, yo, I finally saw it. The thing I've always wanted to see in my life. <laughs> a naked middle-aged man. And I was like, what? No way, you finally saw it? That's so great, man. Nobody was excited about the situation. So I came in from school and I walk around the corner and my roommate is right there and he's doing dips. But he's not just doing any dips. No, he's doing dips in the nude. When he saw him, he was just like, oh, oh. And his roommate was just like, after that, we had a good laugh and you know, it brought our relationship closer because now we had something else in common. You know, because that's what friendships are based on. Things that you guys can relive together. Naked men. Alright, so leading into why I moved into the place. Um, yeah, I mean, see, look, look, okay, look. If I didn't find a place, I was gonna have nowhere to live. So I was just like, okay, I gotta find somewhere really quickly. And I was just, I was on the, I, I, was, I was on the clock. I, I put out an ad on, on Kijiji. I'm doing my regular shopping. And a couple places get back to me and they're like, yeah, we live in this really good area. We got some cool stuff. I'm gonna come. Can I meet you on this day? They're all like, yeah, 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 come on, come on down, yeah, yeah. So I call up my friend. I'm like, yo, I need somebody to come with me. And she's all like, all right, sure, I'll come, whatever, we can hang out. And this, this was cool because, you know, I think without her, I probably would have had a mental breakdown. We finally get to the first place. Tell me why this dude came to the door looking like this. That was my first sign that there was a problem. The place looked like it was a crack den or something. Like it honestly looked like somebody was like was 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 cooking something in this house, and the rock would not appreciate it. <laughs> and then I found another place, and the guy's like, "Yeah, no, it's gonna be. It's a fantastic room. This place is really nice. We got security downstairs. And we got these big keys, and they're really heavy. And you feel them in your pocket. Nobody can steal them. And it's so fantastic. And we got mechas, and they fly around, and they're super strong. Yeah." So he finally goes and he's just like, all right, here we go. This is the room that you be staying in. I'm just like, sorry, excuse me, what? You know what we're gonna do. Let, let me show you this shit. All right, so this is some blinds. Yeah, some cheap blinds. You can open them from the outside. Yep, that, yep, that's right. And you, So you have no control over the blinds being open at all. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, and now, okay, when we slide these shits open, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a patio sliding door. You think, wow, that's a fancy door for a bedroom. Yeah, well, no, it's not. It's not a fancy door for a bedroom. This is a goddamn balcony. What? This was one of the smallest balconies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you, you got me. <laughs> Come on, but really. This man did not just make me travel like 45 miles outside of the city to this little abandoned area that was all busted down and broken up. You can't just spring this on people. You can't just be like, surprise. First of all, screw you. Screw all the rest of your goddamn roommates and your bedrooms and shit trying to put me on a goddamn balcony. What is this? Uh... Basically, 
that whole day was a bit of a disaster. In the end, after looking at all these places, I called up my buddy and I'm just like, yo, son, how many times has your roommate been naked now? And he's just like, just that one time. And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, tell the landlord I'm moving in. That was it. That was the reason why I moved in to his place. Because in comparison to living on a freaking balcony on a cot or living in a place that literally smelled like somebody died in there and they just hit them in the walls. I was gonna take this nudist. Now, if I look back on it, I think I probably would have taken the dead person house or the mechs. But at that moment, the best option seemed the crazy nudist because I mean, maybe we just caught him randomly and it wasn't gonna happen again. He couldn't be that bad. So my advice to you, dear viewers, is whenever you have to go out and get a new place. Don't. Do not leave. Just stay at home forever. Your mom's pasta is amazing. All the cooking, the nagging, you can deal with it. Get off me! You can deal with the nagging. You can deal with the... You can deal... No, don't leave home with this. No! You live in a shared house. Where the hell are your clothes? I get it. it. It was a nice day. Outside, to this day, I cannot understand where his pants were. Like, this man was stark naked.